According to the Association of Canadian Travel Agencies, 2010 promises to be a busy season, with major travel companies reporting that bookings are up 12 percent compared to the same time last year. Caribbean destinations remain the most popular choices for Canadians, and between the winter weather and the great deals, it's no wonder staycations are losing appeal as Canadians search for sun and sand down south. Nancy has just returned from a sunny vacation to the Caribbean. Me and my boyfriend decided to go on vacation now because it's cold and miserable outside, so we thought, uh, let's look online for a good deal, and we found a great flight price to the Dominican Republic, so we packed up for a week. Many Canadians like Nancy may be visiting areas that present unforeseen travel health risks. Yet a recent poll of those heading down south show health concerns are on the back burner. Dr. Jay Keystone is a travel medicine expert. Travelers need to seek health care advice before they travel to the tropics, and that includes the Caribbean, in order to prevent infectious diseases such as hepatitis A, hepatitis B, traveler's diarrhea, dengue, and especially malaria, which is the most dangerous. Malaria is a parasite transmitted by a night-biting mosquito. It's quite dangerous, but easily preventable with insect protection and an appropriate anti-malarial drug. Less than one-third of Canadians polled felt it was a top priority to speak with their doctor about travel-related illnesses and treatment options. Instead, Canadians put researching sites, dealing with household responsibilities, and getting local currency at the top of their trip planning lists. And only 15% of Canadians consider government-issued travel health advisories an important factor in choosing a destination. Malaria should certainly be on a traveler's radar, even to the Caribbean. But unfortunately, most travelers don't know about it. And yes, it's an important one, especially for many Canadians traveling to the Dominican Republic, to Kingston, Jamaica, and to Great Exuma Island in the Bahamas. It's recommended that Canadians consult their doctor or a travel medicine specialist at least six weeks prior to departure. However, treatment options are available even when traveling on short notice. For more information about malaria and anti-malarial medication, talk to your doctor or visit malariafacts.ca. Sherry Demetarko reporting.